from dominating one of the best fighters in UFC history with relative ease to his insane championship experience, here's what makes Alex Pereira such a lethal fighter. If you can dominate someone like Israel Adesanya the way Pereira did, then you're not exactly a poor fighter. In the UFC, there's a way to defeat the greatest fighters of all time. You can get lucky on the day against just about anyone in the entire promotion. But when it comes to fighters who are tactically secure in their approach, like Israel Adesanya or John Jones, then the chances of getting that lucky win pretty much evaporate. How do you defeat someone who has enough technical ability to see out any kind of challenge? Adesanya, particularly in the middleweight division, is just about as dangerous as they come. He knows what to expect from every fighter. He knows what he needs to do to gain the upper edge against every style. And he doesn't just know that. He's been doing all this to great success. So when the UFC finalized the Pereira and Adesanya fight, everyone was excited to see the last style bender get his revenge over a longtime rival. But what no one expected was for him to lose to the Poitain. You see, Pereira made a huge name for himself, but he isn't an excellent mixed martial artist. He's dominated kickboxing to a higher degree. And if this was a kickboxing contest, you'd back Pereira. But to say that he'd have the upper edge in a fight against the last style bender, possibly the greatest middleweight fighter the UFC has ever seen in a setting that suits Adesanya the best, was no less than blasphemy. But Pereira knocked the hell out of the Nigerian, and that's exactly what makes him so lethal, that sheer power and striking ability. A two-division glory kickboxing champ, Pereira's dominated the kickboxing scene for many years and wanted to replicate that success in the UFC middleweight. What set him apart in glory was his ability to knock any kind of opponent out. He's got this extremely muscular frame, and he's also a really tall operator. Even if he leans out to make weight, Pereira tends to dwarf most of his competition, and that's why he's just so lethal. The Brazilian does not care about keeping his distance like many other mixed martial artists, who are much more meticulous in their approach. Instead, Alex likes to attract big punches so that he finds an opening to land one of his. That's the difference. Only one big hook is enough from him to end the fight. Punching ability is obviously significant if you want to be successful, but his combination of jab, cross, overhand, and that left hook is what makes him so freaking good. Not to mention, his perfect punching form and the ability to switch up give him the edge. Just look at his fight against Sean Strickland. For any young fighters out there, this was a masterclass in how to set up the perfect left hook. It ended up being a stoppage win for Alex, and while many made fun of Strickland for trying to pressure a world-class kickboxer, it was actually because of Pereira pulling the strings and baiting him. Given the amount of success Sean's experienced over the course of his MMA career, it's not a surprise that he wanted to try something similar in pressuring Pereira, but it ended up being his funeral. That rotation of his shoulders, the twisting of his hips, and the way he dug his lead foot right into the ground to generate power. It was a sensational watch. Again, that's what makes Alex so dangerous. He knows exactly how to break the biggest names in the UFC. Strickland was prepared for those big blows, but Pereira's constant threat got him back in his shell before he got that big knock to his face. But it's not just his striking that tends to stand out. It's his switch knees, which are also magical. Not so much for his opponents, though. In fact, it wouldn't be wrong to say that the Brazilian has one of the best switch knees in the world. It's mostly down to how he doesn't need to lean on a full jump, and given his height and length, he gets to be a lot more consistent and accurate than anyone else. The front kick to the midsection is what allows Pereira to maximize his left hook, but that kick does too much damage on its own as well. For this one, take a look at Pereira during his UFC debut, which took place in Madison Square Garden, fittingly. Andreas Mikalidis isn't a nobody. He's pretty good, and many believe that Pereira's UFC dream would be short-lived. He had to prove himself as a mixed martial artist, and it would have been a major test of his grappling ability. The start to the fight was predictably slow for Alex, but as soon as the second round began, he got his opening, with which he landed that Hollywood flying knee to steal the spotlight. Credit to him for putting on a show. That's how you get the love from the fans as well but most of them were already sold after watching that famous left hook and knee do the damage. None of this is reason enough to fear Pereira. I mean, fighters should fear a good striker anyway, but it's how he's not a one-trick pony that catches just about everyone by surprise. Most big hitters rely on that golden shot to win them the fights, and like I said earlier, Pereira's fight is built around his massive left hook, but it's certainly not all there is to his game. He offers so much more. 
given how long he's been battling in combat, one promotion or another, Herrera has picked up a lot of experience. And that helps increase his fighting IQ inside the ring. He makes the smartest decisions, and the reason why he's built his firepower around his main weapon is the biggest example. In a fight, Pereira is quick to make adjustments that others might feel they could get away with, but He's someone who understands that it's not all about attacking. Sometimes you need to take your time and defend, which at the end of the day is what took Adesanya by surprise in their second fight as well. Yeah, I know that Pereira lost his second meeting against Adesanya, but before the last style bender pulled that big shot out of absolutely nothing, Alex had him exactly where he wanted. He was peppering the former and the future champ, and nine times out of 10, no one comes out of that corner with a win. That night, unfortunately, for Pereira, was the one time his game plan didn't work. But for Adesanya to acknowledge later on and issue a warning for the rest of the UFC about Pereira's abilities says all you need to know. The last style bender knows he got lucky, but also knows that not many others would have a similar skill set to get out of jail like he did. Everyone always walks into the fight, fearing his knockout power and striking technique. And even then, they get overwhelmed by the intensity that Alex brings to the table. To complement that, he's got elite mental toughness. And if you want to be successful in any combat sport, you've got to keep winning. But winning isn't just about hitting the hardest, it's also about taking a beating. Getting hit is what makes you truly great and not cracking under that pressure is something else entirely. That's where Pereira's mental toughness comes in. He's got a great fighting spirit and manages to remain composed under any kind of pressure. As far as rallying back from a pressure position is concerned, you won't find anyone better than this monster. Of course, it helps to be incredibly resilient, but you can't be resilient if you don't have the mental capacity to take damage. It's a rule of thumb in fighting. You're going to have bad days, and how you perform then is what makes all the difference. Given his over-reliance on that left hook, Pereira does get neutralized on many occasions, but his ability to strike back after taking damage is what makes him unbelievably lethal. For this one, let me take you back to Glory 55 when Pereira won the middleweight championship tournament final against Yuzri Belgarui. This fight is what made the Brazilian the fighter he is today. The amount of damage his body took from Belgarui on that day was too much, but he just didn't crack. By the time the fight got to the third round, Pereira looked like he was out of energy completely. That's exactly when he managed to produce that sensational knee strike that ended the night. But his championship experience also played a big part. That's worth a mention, cuz. Alex always fought the best of the best, and while he may not have come out on top every time, he keeps learning the craft and getting better. That experience of fighting the best, dominating them, and getting dominated too, has allowed Pereira to build a dangerous reputation in combat sports. So from his championship experience to dominating one of the best fighters in MMA history, this was what makes Alex Pereira such a lethal fighter.